Hello again. It is uh, September now. It's pretty cool. It's September uh, 3rd. Um, and today, you may notice I'm not walking towards the hay bale garden because the pears are ready. It's got my big bull out. Now part of the problem is, is that those guys up there are super tall and I could try to get on the ladder, but that's pretty dangerous, especially since I'm only on home right now. So, um, there's these apple picker things, and, uh, my options were to either buy one for, like, $12 on Amazon, maybe have them deliver within the day, or I could just make this thing. <laughs> I've been, uh, prototyping a little bit of it this morning, but basically it consists of this cup that I've cut like so, and then just taped a bag down as the collection. So, so the way it works is you take it and you wrap it under... And just pull and then fail. Oops. Hold on, I have an idea for an improvement. Okay, I just hopped in outside and you can see I've added this notch. Now a lot of these apple pickers kind of have prongs so you can stick the stem in between the prongs and they'd catch on easier. So let's try that. <laughs> That's so satisfying. Here, let's try to grab this one. <laughs> oh, I love it. I'm actually going to focus on the higher ones. I don't know how much weight this bag can hold. It's already kind of stretching quite a bit. But, uh... <laughs> oh, I love engineering. <laughs> Alright, so... <clears throat> I've collected quite a bunch, um, but I think I might actually be calling it for at least pears for today. Some of these are um, usually, you can tell when pears are ripe is when they come off the tree real easily, but um, some of these, some of the pears are and then some of the pears aren't. So I'm just going to say, uh, yeah, I tried, I tried a lot of different areas of the tree and so I'm just going to say that uh, maybe I'll wait another few days for the rest of them. I uh, don't want to overload too much on pears in one single time. Uh, other than that, I think today I'm just going to spray. Um, I've been trying to work in the sun, which is usually something I actually try to avoid because of uh, heat. <laughs> I don't like the, the heat, but uh, right now there's like a triple E outbreak in my area. Um, and if I catch that, it's pain until I die, basically. So. Um, low risk, but uh, you don't want to, so I've been, mosquitoes don't like the sun as much, so that's part of my strategy. I will not touch the blueberries at this time. That just doesn't seem like a good idea. <sighs> Alright, I'm going to need two hands to bring that in, and then I'll check in once I got the spray out. I think, is, is the garden in sun yet? No. Okay, I'll think about something else. Alright, so I decided against spraying. I just realized it's probably not worth the risk, and it's kind of past tick season anyway. So, I'm just gonna go there, harvest what I can, and leave. I wonder, wonder if any of the cantaloupes are ready. Hmm. Well, it looks like some of the zucchini, zucchini got the powdery mildew still. That sucks. Maybe even some of these uh, pumpkin here leaves. I don't know, it's hard to tell. Everything's very, very wet. We had a big rainstorm last night. <laughs> kind of the remains of Hurricane Dorian. Doran, whatever. It looks like we're getting, gonna get some more tomatoes and more peppers. And I just walked through a spider web. <laughs> I need to be back here more often. Uh, the uh, lettuce is getting interesting though. <laughs> don't know exactly what it's doing. And I should probably harvest the kale. Alright, so I'm still finding little splotches of powdery mildew infestation around. See, like that leaf. But there doesn't seem to be very much on other leaves, just that one. Anyway, you may notice that there's a single uh, pumpkin vine that just kind of shoots up from, because it, w it went into the uh, cucumbers and then just kind of went up. And that would be a very, very bad place for pumpkins to grow because this thing, this fencing probably can't take it. I just made it rain. 
Uh, so, yeah, I'm gonna try to pull that one down. Wow, that's a big spider. I think that might be the one that was hanging out on that, uh, the rope the other week. We've also reached the point of, uh, completely irretrievable cherry tomatoes. They're growing above the netting, and, uh, I can't get that. You can see I also took down the, uh, pumpkin. Seem to have developed a bit of a slug infestation. I kind of knew this was happening, but I didn't realize that was kind of what was eating a lot of these tomatoes. Like, this one is not recoverable. Uh, so I got, uh, after I finished harvesting today, I'm going to go home and uh, go back inside and look up strategies to defeat them. This is really all you can do. 79 grams of cherry tomatoes. 45 grams of pepper, 1.247 uh, uh, kilograms of big tomato, 16 grams of speckled tomato, uh, 993 grams of cucumber, 283 grams of uh, kale, 51 grams of uh, beans, which I'm surprised are still around. Okay, so I'm gonna weigh out uh, these pears. I transferred them into a small basket. Because I know this mass, this is 1.4 pounds, so. And we have 26.8, so that means we have 25.4 pounds of pears, which is this many grams. I think that's all for today. Uh, oh, I haven't done my outro in a while. Signing off? Is that what I used to say? Signing off. Hey, it's September 6th. And I don't get out here very often anymore. I don't know why. So we got Sakur King Dorian. Um, well, what's left of it? Him thus soon. So uh, I'm try to get inside soon. You can kind of tell it's about terrain. I put on some extra strength bug spray uh, to kind of keep away those triple E carrying mosquitoes. I don't know how long that'll last. It's really strong. But uh, today we're just going to harvest you know, check up on things, and then we'll be good. Hopefully. Uh, it looks like we got some major powdery mildew outbreaks again. Uh, I guess it's because it's been a, maybe a little bit more humid than it has in the past. So that sucks, but, you know, yeah, I know the drill by now. <sighs> so as I continue to kind of take care of the uh, powdery mildew, I lost my balance. Um, here's something interesting. Leaves, 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 no leaves. Uh, something came around and ate those. And it's probably the deer, judging by its height off the ground. It's always nice to know my enclosure's working. But, uh, it's not gonna keep out any fungus. So, I managed to grab an entire grocery bag full of infected leaves, and it's been a while since I had to do that. Uh... Yeah, I guess it's the the uh, the effect of powdery mildew is really kind of dependent on the weather. And the weather must have been quite humid for that to happen, even though it's been um, relatively colder. But yeah, there's all the leaves I dumped earlier. Uh, yeah, that doesn't look like. Yeah, it looks like it just naturally rotted. It didn't like become totally overrun by the powdery mildew. Anyway, now that that's out of the way, like I don't think there's very much more left in the garden. If, if I see any, I'll, I'll cut them, but I just harvest. Um, and I don't think there's much to harvest. I let another cantaloupe get out too overripe. This has been cracked open and there's already some holes. The stem used to be from the um, uh, ants, so time to go bowling! Landed near the other one. All right, back to farming. Farming. First time I called it that. So um, this is bad. The it looks like the stem of this uh, tomato. That tomato. It's a pumpkin plant. Has contracted the powdery mildew, and there's not much I can do about that. Cause uh, that that would just cut off a major part of the vine. So we might have to do that just to protect the other plants, which means that this might be it for the pumpkins. Um, 
Yeah, like that vine is completely dried up. I'm gonna get those two pumpkins today. Um, and uh, three pumpkins. Because that one looks, the uh, stem looks dead too. Oh, what a pity, what a pity. Uh, I think we can count this as my first loss against the powdery mildew. Oh, hum. This might be okay though, this section. I mean, there are signs of infection, but at least it's not like dead, dead. Speaking of sadness, um, man, this pumpkin got eaten on the bottom. It might have been the slugs, but that's the seal is broken. I wouldn't trust this anymore. Which means I get to go bowling for fruit, which I believe was a album, I think. But geez, like I lost the cantaloupe. I'm losing these pump. I'm losing the pumpkins. I'm losing the pumpkin plants. It just sucks. <sighs> ah. Oh no, it was bowling for soup. Right. Well, hopefully that other pumpkin isn't uh, in a similar state, because that would also that would doubly suck. In fact, I may just keep recording, just so you can see if I'm going to be mad at things. Yeah, <laughs> that just came out, so I'm going to say this is... And... Well, it looks like there's there's the beginnings of some decomp decomposition, but it's not as bad. Uh -huh. oh, I'm really sad about things now. I'm gonna put this in here just in case it is salvageable because it's not as bad as the other one like all these look like surface level uh, attacks um, let's go check up on the one outside <sighs> well yeah so failure right it's learning experience what have I learned be more on top of powdery mildew um, and come out here every day to check on it. Oh, frick, I'm gonna have to take care of this too. Um, okay, that looks like it is something that was trying to eat it through the fence, um, which isn't ideal. But this is also salvageable. Uh, I'm just gonna leave this out in front so I can pick it up on the way out, because why, why bother? Um, great, grab scissors, deal with the powdered mildew on the outside! Oh, this is, I was just like, here, I'm gonna just step in and take care of, um, take care of uh, the, the harvest, but no, instead I deal with loss after loss after loss. <sighs> I mean, the peppers are fine. Good job, peppers. You know, just being peppers. Not a lot of things don't eat peppers, right? I mean, we do, but like, not a lot of natural predation on peppers. My dad's had his old pepper box on the porch. Without an enclosure, nothing's eaten that. <sighs> well, it looks like uh, that got broken into. So that's another pump pumpkin I'm not going to have. And then there's more infection on the stem here. Uh, it goes... Oh god, it's all... Oh. Well, it feels like it rerooted it itself here. So I think I can just... I'm just going to be cutting off... Um, yeah, that's more stuff. Well, this <laughs> the pumpkin plant has completely uh, separated itself from my garden, because I'm just going to have to just cut off this entire bit. It is bad. And then I'm also going to cut it off from the inside too. Just that whole thing. It's no good. This all sucks. Yeah, it kind of looks like the uh, Della Cicada also bit the dead, or but they've died or something. Um, yeah, this doesn't look healthy at all. 
Uh, I mean, it doesn't look like it, it reacquired the infection. I'm not seeing any evidence of powdery mildew, but the amount of uh, stuff I cut off might have just been too much for it to handle. Well, I mean, it was for its own good, so whatever. Um, these marigolds are really like the uh, hay bell garden, but uh, yeah, I'm just gonna have to. Well, until they're like conclusively dead, like that green stuff goes away, or and um, that new growth goes away, I'm just gonna have to. I'm gonna leave it for now, since obviously it doesn't have the infection. I just 173 grams of big tomato, 64 grams of pepper. 53 grams of purple pepper, 375 grams of um, speckled tomato, 94 grams of cherry tomato, 193 grams of del cicada squash, 1.485 grams of uh, pumpkin, well, just one pumpkin, also the stem fell off this guy, which is further credence to the idea that this might not be the best pumpkin. I did wash it a little bit, but I don't know, some parts might be salvageable. And 1.119 uh, kilograms of somewhat scraped and somewhat underripe uh, pumpkin.